Hi, it's Ms. Parrott, and in this video, you're going to learn about condensation and hydrolysis reactions. These two types of reactions are very important in biology because they are essential to breaking down um, big molecules that we take in and building them and putting them back together in order to make us or any living thing. So first let's look at condensation reactions. These are reactions in which small pieces, small molecules, are stuck together to build polymers or other large molecules. And during this synthesis, during this bringing of it together, we're going to release water. Here's a quick diagram of that. We have molecule A and it has a hydrogen coming off of it, bonded to it, and then molecule B has an OH bonded to it. When we put these together, this, these two H's and this O come away, they join together to make water, and then A and B can now bond with each other. That's a condensation reaction. Then there are hydrolysis reactions. Hydrolysis is basically the opposite of condensation. So in this case, in hydrolysis, polymers are broken apart into monomers or large molecules into smaller molecules by adding water. So in condensation, water is leaving. In hydrolysis, water is coming in. Here's an example of a diagram. We have a large molecule made of A and B. They're bonded together. We add water, and when you think of adding water, think about you're adding an H, and then separately you're going to add an OH to something else. So now that we have A and B bonded together plus water, it's going to break apart to form A. It's going to, A is going to take one of those, it's going to take an H onto itself, and then B is going to take the rest of the water molecule, OH, onto itself. So now you have two separate smaller molecules. Alright, here's some examples. An example of a condensation reaction would be bringing two amino acids together to form a dipeptide. A dipeptide is a chain of two diamino acids linked together by a peptide bond. A peptide bond is just the name of a bond that links two amino acids together. So, you can see here, this is one amino acid, and this is the second one. You have your amino group, your alpha carbon with the side chain, and then the carboxylic acid group. Same here. So we've got these lined up to where the carboxylic acid group of the first amino acid is lined up with the amine group of the second amino acid. Now it's this OH coming off the carboxylic acid and one of the hydrogens coming off of the, um, the nitrogen and the amino group. These are the two that are going to break off of these amino acids, join together to form water, which will leave. And now carbon needs to make an extra bond. Nitrogen, it needs to make an extra bond, so they come together. You can see down here then, once our water has left, we have one amino acid now bonded, the carbon that was once part of the carboxylic acid, and that um, nitrogen that was once part of the amine group. They're now joined together by a peptide bond to form a dipeptide. And here's an example of a hydrolysis reaction. Remember, hydrolysis, we're breaking something apart. We're breaking a large molecule apart into two smaller molecules. So we're hydrolyzing a disaccharide. That's a carbohydrate, a sugar that's made of two, um, two monosaccharides, two simple sugars. Right? And so we're breaking, we're hydrolyzing a disaccharide into two small monosaccharides or simple sugars. In this diagram, I have two hexoses, right? So two six carbon sugars stuck together um, by a bond called a glycosidic linkage. Now, if you're in AP biology, you do need to know the name of glycosidic linkage. If you are in mod science biology, you don't need to know glycosidic linkage, but you do need to recognize that these hexagon-shaped molecules are 
part of carbohydrates. They're simple sugars. And these come together with an oxygen in the middle. But I want to break these apart by adding water. That's what hydrolysis means. So the hydro in hydrolysis is water. And the lice, I remember this because lice means slice. Anytime you see lice in a word, typically, um, it means something's going to be broken apart. So I'm going to take my disaccharide, add water. And remember, adding water is really like adding an H to one thing and an OH to something else. Disaccharide plus water and my products are going to be a monosaccharide, mono, one. And this one on the left, it kept the oxygen. So imagine that it broke right along here. The glycosidic linkage broke right along there. So this first monosaccharide kept the oxygen. One of the hydrogens from water joined it. That's why you see the blue H right here. And then this monosaccharide is left. And so then we're going to add the other OH from the water onto this second one. So we have hydrolyzed. We've used water to slice this disaccharide into two monosaccharides. And those are the basics of hydrolysis and condensation reactions.